Before attempting any responsive settling technique, it is important you follow SIDS and KIDS guidelines by always placing your baby on their back to sleep. This video shows a settling method that encourages your baby to become familiar with settling to sleep in their cot. It is suitable for babies of all ages, but younger babies may be more responsive to this. As with every responsive settling technique, the first step is to look for your baby's tired cues. It is important to create a calm and comfortable sleeping environment and ensure your baby's needs have been met before attempting to settle them. Hi Nicole, I just wondered if you were ready for me to help support you to put Arlen to bed. Absolutely, thank yes. you. You're welcome. Now, um, what tells you that Arwen's ready for bed? I think um, he's quite upset, but he's also his clenched fists and this. Um, he's just agitated, not for himself. Okay, sure, sure. So it's nice to have some wind down time yes. with Arwen. So because you've identified his tired signs, we've got a window of opportunity to wind him down and get him ready for bed. Great. Right. Pictures. Meerkat babies. <gasps> Soak up the sun. Look it's at the ducks. See, That's great, Nicole. So in the time that Owen's been awake, yes. has he had something to eat? Yes. yes, just before. Yes, and we need to get him comfortable yes. for bed. So has have you changed his nappy? Yes, yes. yes. just, yeah. Yep. And he's in a nice, safe environment. environment. Yeah, uh, yep. And he's got a nice, safe, comfortable sleeping yes. suit on. Not yes. too hot, not too cold. Yes. Great. great. And he showed you those lovely tides on, oh, no. so grizzling, <laughs> clenching his fists. You wouldn't need to have a sleep. Not right? easily distracted yeah. and not interested in active play. Yes. Yes. So he's had nice active play. Yes. And now it's time for us to wind down, de-stimulate him yes. before placing him gently and safely in the cot. Okay. Okay, that's great, Nicole. So you can just give Owen a little kiss. Yep. And a time for bed, time if you say to time for bed. Time for bed. And you need to place Owen onto his back, yes. gently into the cot. Sure. So Nicole, we yes. just need to make sure Owen's down the end of the cot. Yes. And his sheet is away from his face. Mm -hmm. And we tuck the sheets in very firmly. Sure. Nicole, the room environment's perfect. It's not too hot, not too cold. We just need to turn the lighting okay. down low or off yes. so we reduce all the stimulus. Okay, no worries. So you might need to do that. Oh, it's ready for us now because he's settled more sure. to put the cot side up. Sure. If he remained unsettled with his crying, you could have picked him up and given him a cuddle next to the cot and then put him gently back down. Okay. He's calm now, yes. so we'll put the cot side up. Okay. We never leave the babies without the cot side being up. Okay, so we'll put the cot side up now. Okay, and you can put your hand through the cot and keep continue with your padding now that he's calm. was you're using hands on mm -hmm. settling, which meant you comforted Owen yes. until he was almost asleep, yep. and then you felt comfortable leaving yeah, the room. Definitely. I feel like he is able to get himself to sleep now, and I don't have to be feeding him off to sleep and then rocking him to sleep and putting him down. So no, I feel very comfortable with the hands on settling. Yeah. He did really well. Thank you. What he was also doing was he was self-soothing yes. and self-regulating yeah. himself to go off to sleep by sucking his fingers or moving his head, closing his eyes, mm -hmm. and then you left the room. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good to know that he can do it on his own. Yeah, yeah. I feel really comfortable. Well done. Thank you. Once you have left the room, it is important to listen to your baby. If there are no signs of restlessness, your baby is most likely asleep.
Sometimes getting your baby to sleep won't go to plan. Don't worry, that's normal. If your baby isn't falling asleep, stay calm. I can still hear Owen crying, so it means he may not have gone off to sleep. Sure. Or he may not have gone into his deep sleep mm -hmm. yet. Because you would like to do hands-on settling, it means we need to re-enter the room okay. and do some more shushing sounds and put your hands back on Owen to okay. calm him back to sleep. Sure. Soothe your baby again until they're almost asleep and then leave the room. If your baby begins whinging or is restless, continue the soothing process until your baby falls asleep. Nicole, Owen sounds quite distressed and because you're doing hands on settling, it means that you need to go in now, okay. put sure. the side of the cot down, mm -hmm. pick him up, give him a cuddle next to the cot, yes. a comfort cuddle, and then you can put him back down okay. and we'll continue with some hands-on settling. Okay, great. If your baby's crying persists, gently lift them out of the cot and comfort them with patting and shushing. Only cuddle your baby when other strategies have not been successful. Once they're calm, gently place them back into the cot and frequently soothe your baby until they're asleep. For daytime settling, continue settling attempts for up to 30 to 60 minutes. For daytime resettling, if your baby wakes after less than one hour sleep, reassess and consider resettling them for no longer than 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the age of your baby and how you are both coping. If your baby has been in the cot for between one to one and a half hours, do not attempt resettling. For nighttime settling, if your baby is awake for longer than 30 to 60 minutes overnight, check their nappy is clean, consider feeding them, offer your baby some water, give them a cuddle and start the settling process again. Remember to keep the room's light level low and use minimal conversation overnight. It's always important to place your baby gently on their back when you put them into their cot. Yes. And when he's older, he'll be able to roll freely mm -hmm. from front to back and back to front, mm -hmm. and he'll find his preferred position. Okay. Sids and kids also recommend that babies can sleep in the parents' room or room share for the first six to 12 months. Okay. There are advantages to using the hands-on settling method. It enhances your baby's ability to settle into a consistent sleeping environment, like their cot. It will help your baby transition from parent dependence into self-settling. Both parents can use these techniques. Hands-on settling is a safer option than co-sleeping. And your baby will often cry less during settling because you are there. As with every settling method, there are also disadvantages you should be aware of. If you routinely use hands-on settling, your baby may develop a dependence on you being with them to fall asleep. This method can also be time-consuming. Older babies may also resist this method and become more upset, especially if they are used to being fed, settled in your arms, or have been co-sleeping. They will often show frustration if you are within sight, but not doing what they want you to do. The hands-on settling method is suggested as a guide only. Each time you begin to settle your baby, consider how you and your baby are coping. If your baby doesn't settle to sleep, you may need to have a break from trying to get them to sleep. Always ensure your baby is safe. <laughs>